Everybody. Welcome to Shoots and Marbles. I'm your host, Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delicio. All righty. Well, as you can see, we are the only, the only marble racing uh, channel that gets one thumb down before we even start. <laughs> I believe it was Mike. All right. I think that's an unfounded rumor, Tom. Here we go. We're going to be showing you once again, if you've never seen us before, if you come here expecting a board game review, this is not a board game review, although we do lots of them and you should check them out. And also we're running a Kickstarter today. But let's not worry about that for now. Here's our jobbers. These people could possibly make it into the big league someday, but they're here just to test out the track. Here we go. Getting an early start today, Tom. A I would like to point out which one is doing well, but... Um, no, my goodness. Oh, this is Clown's brother, actually, I oh, think. Oh, I thought that was Clown. Okay. You know, we're actually going to be merciful today because we want to get things going. All right, folks, we're going to show you who our racers are today. Actually, we have no new racers, but have no fear. Even if we get new racers, our intro will not get longer than it is today. <laughs> that being said, we do need to get started. Here are our contestants.
All righty. Well, as always, we begin each race. The Kudzu Brothers, since they pay a lot of money and help keep these tracks in good condition, they race to see which of them will enter the race. So here they go. Oh, wait. Oh, is, the Brood is in. Why is the Brood in? Wow. So confusing. One of the brothers got out to a really quick start. Oh, I think the Brute only has taken one of the brothers out. Well, mm. that actually, the Brute shouldn't be in that race. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a little confusing. So we're going to keep the Kudzu brothers. Hang on. Mike, I'm sorry to say that the Brute has been injured, actually. Oh, my goodness. It, is, it is his own fault. You know, he, he got involved with a race he wasn't uh, didn't have any business being a part of. I agree. So uh, that being said, we're going to have to, since we use the Brute to eliminate people, we're going to do a different kind of race today. We're actually going to be having elimination races here with 16 marbles at a time, and we're going to race them. The last two to be in each race will be eliminated, mm -hmm. and we'll keep going until we have only four. Okay. We'll do that four times, and we'll have our 16 people. So not only do we have um, the Kudzu Brother, but we have Istanbul, Oily to Rise, Drink Your Oval Team, Butterball, Geiger, that's a six, um, Travel Buddy, Yellow Days, Moonstruck, Pollen, the Speckled Knight of Teton, Goblin King, so that's a two, four, that's 12. Cupcake is 13. Mint Chocolate Chip is 14. Force Field, 15. And Red Sonia, 16. You know, Tom, it's going to be interesting to see how this one hour earlier start time is going to affect the racers. I've heard that there's a few of them that are not quite early to risers. That's true. And let's see if it uh, affects their performance on the track. We've also, uh, if you notice, we've... Um, Change the track up the slightest bit. And in fact, it is at a steeper incline for these eliminations. So they're gonna be quicker races. So let's see who is the first to eliminate it. That's a badge of shame no one wants. Here we go. Here we go, hurtling. Oh my goodness, one's completely off the track, Tom. One is completely off the track. Ha, where did it go? Oh. It's underneath the track. I, oh, the carnage is unbearable, Tom. Well, that's actually not a, not a difficult thing. That's uh, out is uh, Red Sonia and uh, wow, uh, Travel Buddy just did not... Travel Buddy uh, took a little bit too much of a travel there. So we eliminated two, those two, correct? That's correct. So All that's right. good. That's good. It keeps... We keep um, we keep going here. And this is actually... Uh, I don't know. I kind of like the carnage, Mike. Yeah, it's, you know... It, it's it's a, good it, for breakfast. It, sure. Here we go. Oh, my... Oh, my. Another one almost completely off the track. Complete pandemonium. Oh, we lost two there, Tom. I think that's it. That's our that, that's our answer. Yeah, that's Look not that. too bad. Oily to Rise is out, and so is one of our former champions, Yellow Days. Oh, that's a stunning. The, the track is a merciless, a merciless master. Was it? Oh, Istanbul. Sorry, not Oily oh, to Rise. Okay, okay. Sorry, our stable manager keeps me in track there. All right, All right here we go. Here we go. So oh, far, is... no one has lost because they're slow, but because they just can't race. Because they cannot make it through the track. Oh, oh, oh. interesting. So the Speckled Knight and Teton is out, and so is the Goblin King. Goblin King could not quite pull it off. Cupcake's still in there, and I have a special affinity for Cupcake. He sent me a card on my birthday. It was actually a pretty nice Should have sent you a cupcake for gesture. your birthday, Tom. You would honestly. think. You would you think, would think, think. A cupcake would be the way to go. And there. here we go. Here we go. Look at, oh my goodness, another one completely off the track. I don't even know what that was all about. And another that one, was oily to rise. Oily to rise, and we lost another one up oh. in the upper portion of the track. Oh, huh? that's the that's um the, the uh, Geiger. Geiger. Okay, well. Radiation kids. Gotta count. Not good for gotta anybody. Gotta count Geiger out. All right, here we go. Boy, how many how many are we taking this down to, Tom? Four. So Four. two more races here. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness, here we go. Oh, we lost one. We lost one. Oh, Tom. One Butterball got is out. Butterball caught in the web. It's a turkey. Oh, Butterball and Pollen. Pollen saw they were going to lose, right? And just said they that, just gave up. Uh, I'm not even trying. I don't. I don't uh, condone that type of behavior. You got to finish the a race. Little, it is a little sad, right? Finish what you start. Finish the race. Well, we got some good racers here. Some, some, some racers that have been in the finals before. And here we go. Two are out. Here we go. Oh, an interesting move on the outside. Oh my goodness, that was a very oh, bold race. All oh. right, well, Force Field is out, as is um, this marble here, <laughs> which you think I would know. I believe that's Moonstruck. All right, so Mike, we can write down your first four entries into the contest. Here we go, Tom. The Kudzu brother made it. Kudzu. Mint chocolate chip. Cupcake. My personal favorite, although mm -hmm. I guess as a judge, I should not have favorites. Uh huh. And 
friend. Hang on one second. We're gonna looking here to see which one is missing from the thing. Drink your Ovaltine. Ovaltine. Tom, this mint chocolate uh, chip asks, uh, begs the question, what are your thoughts on mint chocolate chip as an ice cream flavor? It is uh, superb. Thank anyone, you, Tom. And anyone who says otherwise is wrong. All right. I will say my wife posted a picture of <laughs> toothpaste with chocolate chips inside and, and a scoop of mint chocolate chip ice cream and said, if you eat this, pointing to the ice cream, you may as well eat this. And I could not be more... I, I don't want to get involved in your marital that. strife. All right, well, Dairy well. Queen, Ocean <laughs> Waves, Upside Down, Crystal Ball, The Patriot, Loch Ness Monster, uh, Wrecking Ball, League of Sprites, Eye of the Storm, Flaming Hot, True Love, Montana Marble. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We need four more. Pretty Pretty Princess, Molten Lava, Stardust, and Dead Spring. All right, we got we got some heavy hitters in this heat here, Tom. We do, we do, we do. But remember, only four can make it to the only final. Only four. 16 enter, only four leave. Yeah, that's a phrase we've never used. All right. <laughs> it's not. Here we go. Pick your favorites. All right. Emerald. Emerald off. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we lost another one, Tom. I tell you, this increased... Angle has really caused a lot of carnage out here on the track. All right, well, that was Dead Spring, but the big surprise here is Montana Marvel from last week, yes. which came in second place, if you remember. So that was, uh, was that Dead Spring that got eliminated? No, it was True Love. True, true love. love. Actually, True Love had a pretty good week last week, too, yeah. if you remember. This isn't the week for True Love, Tom. Ah, what week is? <laughs> Apparently not people who argue over mint chocolate chip. Over mint chocolate cream. chip, yes. Yeah, so ah, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Actually, though, if there was mint toothpaste with chocolate chips in, I would consider it. I'm just saying. I'm not going to say I've never had that before, Tom. I'm... <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, we had a little bit of a log jam, and we lost two. We... Oh, no, no. Tom, are you gonna, Are we going to count? No, nope, they're not going to make it. Although, this is an interesting situation here. How this do we handle this, This is an this, interesting Tom? situation. So, actually, <laughs> since this happens, we're going to re-race the whole thing. That actually has saved wow. everyone. And that's basically all um, the fault of the uh, Loch Ness Monster. But... Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Well, hey, sometimes you get a second chance in life. Don't. Here we go. Oh, yep, yep. We, they're, they're coming off left and right, Tom. I don't even know who jumped off. Huh? I don't know. All right, okay, Here so now go. Dead Spring is out. Dead Spring is clearly out. And as is, I think, oh, yep. Uh, whatever this one was. That looks like uh, Crystal it Ball, I think. Or is it Cobalt? I don't know. Whoever it is. They're not worth talking about. Let's keep moving. Well, all right. I'm throwing marbles all over this room. That's my disappointment there. And having to run an extra race is what was not necessary. Yeah, it throws off all of the counts, Tom, but we'll make it work. Yeah, well. Here we go. Everyone's staying on the track this time, although we did lose one in the upper part of the oh, track. Oh, man, and I did so much like Dairy Queen because. Oh, Dairy Queen is out. Dairy Queen is out as is. Uh... The League of Sprites. Mm. All right. Well, what do you do? You keep moving, what Tom. What do you do? You keep na, moving. Na, na, na. Mm -hmm. You acknowledge your disappointment and you move on. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. We oh, there goes the Loch Ness, oh, no, Loch Ness monster. Is out. Loch Ness is out. And who's well, going to be the next assuming, one? Oh, yes. Now that was Crystal Ball, actually, I believe. Should have seen that one coming, Tom. <laughs> I'm supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, another one off the track. What is with these marbles? I'll tell you what. This is, we're going to have to consult the authorities because we are seeing a lot of carnage on the track today. All right. Well, there goes the Patriot, as goes, um, who was that one? Upside Down is out. Oh, they tried to go to the Upside Down, Tom. Didn't quite make it. Missed yeah. the off ramp. All right, well, we're now down to the final six here. We got Eye of the Storm. We got two marbles that look almost essentially the same, so that's going to be exciting well, let's to figure out which one's which. It, I hope they both. Oh, they're out. We lost two. What two completely just, completely just left the track, Tom. Molten Lava is out, as is Ocean Wave. So, wow. Mike, here we go. All right. We got our four. our four that are in this particular race. Okay. So we have Pretty Pretty Princess. Princess. We have... Um, a flaming hot flaming hot we have eye of the storm storm 
who seems to be in quite a few yeah. of these races. And then this one here. Nah. Stardust. 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 Okay. All righty. Our first eight are in, Tom. All right. We got. Now we got Megodons, Cat's Eye, Fiesta Fajita, your favorite. I do like a good Pretender, fajita. Electron High, Unicorn Dream, who we hope has some. Uh, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> Root Beer Float, The Clown, Eye of the Pharaoh. That's two, four, six, eight, nine. The Mars Rover with Manager, the blue. Uh, Skunk, Wasp, Snake Eyes, Green Fiesta. We got two Fiestas going on here. Um, Fissure, and not a Cheetah. Let me see where we're at there. We got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. And then we end that with Gangrene. Got uh, Root Beer Float in this race, Tom, in this heat. And, and there's been a lot of controversy around Root Beer Float. And I don't float. know how Root Beer Float and Unicorn Dreams keep ending up in the same heat here yeah it does seem like an seems like oddity a, in seating ah, it just doesn't seem like a very professional relationship all right here we go man i, I would like to see the marble sand track please let's see oh no we lost one time we, we lost, lost one. two. Oh, we lost two again my so goodness. since we lost three here technically oh that's an interesting question though. now we're gonna lose all three of them actually right. not a cheetah is gone wasp is gone and so is uh, the I can't even read that upside down. It's the uh, Pretender. So this race we we're gonna actually these will be added onto the end race. So the last race will be five marbles. Okay. Then okay. Instead, we're still gonna eliminate two at a time here. All right. Until we get to the last race, then we'll only eliminate one. Mm, it will make the pain that much that's more correct. difficult. That's correct. There's going to be quite a bit of intrigue in that final race. Oh, oh. we all stayed on the track this time, although it became There close. goes another one of our former champions. Strawberry Shortcake oh, is out. Strawberry Shortcake is out, as is a very sparkly competitor. Fissure. Fissure. All right. Hey, Clown's still in it. All right, Tom. Good way to uh, good way to jinx it. I can see Clown leaping off of the track in this next race. Ho, ho, ho. Why would you say such a thing? I don't know, Tom. I just know that sometimes these things happen. All right, here we go. Clown's still in it. Oh, my. Clown getting in there in third place. All right. Was Mars Rover one of the ones? Oh, it wasn't Strawberry Shortcake. That was Mars Rover. Oh. Sorry for saying the incorrect name. The manager has left. Unfortunately, <laughs> oh, the crowd's going to hate me now. Root Beer Float is out. Oh. As is El 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 Electron High. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of very vocal fans of Root Beer Float, Tom, who feel like it has not been getting the respect that it deserves, but it didn't really do much here to gain any respect. I don't really care. You want respect, <laughs> you earn it. You earn it. Here we go. All right. All of them stayed on the track. We lost. That's oh, true. I think they we all lost did. Fiesta Fajita, Tom. Oh, um, yeah, Fiesta Fajita and also... Oh, Unicorn Dreams is out. Oh, my, Tom. Some big names going she out of She said that if Root Bear Float wasn't going to make it, then neither would she. Ah, well, that's something, Tom. Two, four, six, seven. Here we go. Down right. to five. They're staying on the track. Oh, this is a hotly contested race. All right. Well, there goes. Uh, I don't know which one is one. Is, oh, that is uh, Megalodons is out. Megalodons is out. As is Eye of the Pharaoh. Oh, <gasps> we're only eliminating one here. All this right, here could we go, be Tom. the week of clown. This is very interesting. This has never happened before. And they're off. They're staying on the track, Tom. I am oh. so nervous right now. It I'm so happy. Like it's in. I mean, clown he, is in. He barely made it, but he, he made did. it. All right, well, that's not good news for Snake Eyes. Uh, but Clown guy. is in the race. All right, so I'm going to put Clown down now. Put Clown down. All right, we got it. Ha ha. Yeah. All right. And we also have in the race Green Fiesta. Green Fiesta, okay. And we have Cat's Eye. Cat's Eye. This is Cat's Eye, right? Yep. And then finally, where are we at? Gang Green made it. Gang Green. Gang well, Green. I'll tell made you, it. Tom, so far, this is a very different heat from last week. All right, here's our final 16 Terrapin Titan, Wasabi, Nova, Strawberry Shortcake, who I erroneously said was out, Split Pea Stew, Ice Baby, Gray Fox, Florida Weather, Blue Meanie, Slush Ball, Nemo, Electro Knight, 
Rise of Atlantis, Cobalt, Swirly Dervish, and Buzz. All right, some heavy hitters in this final heat, Tom. Yep, well, after that, we'll start the real races. But we do have, yeah, you're right. There is, I think there's at least two champions here. I think mm -hmm. three, actually. You're right, three champions here. Which makes all the other marbles nervous. Correct. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, my goodness. Almost off the track, but still found a way to barely hang on. Is that what is, oh, 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 look at that. It right. got into what we thought would be last is in fourth place. All right. Nemo is out here. And unfortunately, it's a little difficult it's to tell who's in last tell. place. So we'll only take out one in this race, All which right. means, unfortunately, next race, three are out. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, that's the rules that have been written in my mind. Mm-hmm. Rules that only you can read, Tom. That's, uh, I, and I even that it. is questionable. Here we go. Lost one at the top of the track. Well, that's one out. Oh, wow. Cobalt wanted that. Yeah. Is that? Oh, look at that. Terrapin, I think. Got in that is two second. champions taken out at the same wow. time. Florida Weather and Terrapin Titan. And Ice Baby almost made it. Whoa. But fortunately for Ice Baby, uh, Atlantis. No, not Atlantis Rising. Uh, there is no Atlantis Rising. No, Atlantis Rising is here. Rise of Atlantis. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we we had Atlantis Rising, and Elf Creek sent us a cease and desist letter. Correct. All right. Boy, no, that was close. Very few gay com game companies have sent us these things because they don't want their names smeared through the mud, is what I heard. <laughs> we have Gray Fox, which is still in this race, incidentally. All right, here we go. Oh, my goodness. Is that Buzz that almost left the track? That is. Oh, I'm going to from oh. almost out to first place. What an aggressive move. Well, there goes. Uh, slush ball is out as is. I believe that is gangrene that's out. No? no, no. It looks like gangrene, but it's actually split pea stew. Split pea stew. Got to tell you, Tom, I, I don't hate seeing that go away. I'm not a fan of split pea. Wasabi's still in it. Okay, you know, here they, we go. Wasabi still has its fans. All right. Wasabi oh! strawberry shortcake. A wonderful combination. Absolutely not. We <laughs> lost one in the time. The Cobalt is out <clears throat> as is. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Swirly Dervish is out. Swirly Dervish and Cobalt. All right. We have some. <laughs> still have some left. I love how you whisper. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, we are now down to eight. Four more out. Here's here two. Here we go. Well, we haven't lost any off the track in this heat, Tom. Yeah, these marbles are bringing a little bit more to it. Who is this one here? It's this one. Electro Knight. And, well, there goes Ice Baby. So oh, we will not have champion. a double champion in a row. No, if that ever happens, I'll be very impressed. All That'd right, two of feat. these are out, and then we'll start the actual races. Here we go. You can feel the tension. You can cut it with a knife. Oh! Oh, Wasabi, just what is that? Wasabi couldn't take the heat. And I think Buzz. Is that Buzz, Tom? Yep. Wasabi oh and goodness. Buzz are out. So let's see who made our final picks here. We have Atlantis Rising, or whatever you want to call it. Rise of Atlantis. Strawberry Shortcake. Nova and Gray Fox. All right. Well, very interesting field we have this week. All righty. Well, not only do we have an interesting field, and I'm going to, we're going to use this box here. All righty. Well, today's race, we are bringing in dice, but not the dice you might think. Spicy dice here, rounded dice. These dice can actually roll like a ball. Let's see what happens. Spicy dice. They're not going to oh, roll fast. They're not going to roll hard. Goodness, they're barely making their way down the. Oh my goodness, Tom. That is true. Well, here's here's how this works, Mike. Okay. Um, first of all, in our race, the top six people get uh, rewards. First place gets ten points. Second place gets uh, seven. Then five, three, two, and one. However, these are in the race, and we'll just put a we'll put a few in each race. Mm -hmm. They're there to get, cause havoc. They okay. stop stuff. They cause stuff. If any of them reaches the bottom, though. The numbers showing will be added to everyone who scores in that race. Fantastic, Tom. That's great for your scorekeeper. I love I the idea I knew you here. would like it because, kids, this is why you should take math in school. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. All right. Well, I take no responsibility for what the final score is. You will take all the responsibility <laughs> because that is how that works. 
This is not going to We'll start well. with just one. All right. Sure. It doesn't even work if it doesn't make it to the okay. bottom. All so right. you're probably okay. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Race number one. You don't even have the score pad. You just well, don't it's, care. It's, it's close enough. Here we go. All <laughs> right. My well, that was pretty good right now. <laughs> All righty. Okay. So this is, oh, look at that. I'm so pleased. Wow. So in first place, we have, I got to start learning. Oh, the the Wasabi Brothers got first place. Was, wasabi Brother? Wait, wait. I don't have Wasabi in the race here. Sorry. Kudzu Brother. Kudzu. Okay. First place. Yep. I can't even. Okay. Second place, Depth of Atlantis. <laughs> Third place, <laughs> Clown. Oh. Fourth place, Pretty Pretty Princess. Fifth place, Strawberry Shortcake. And sixth place is Eye of the Storm. All right. So that's a good start there, a mm -hmm. good start. That's the first time Clown has ever placed in a race. Actually, that's the first time Clown has ever been in a race. Pretty fantastic, Tom. He has no sponsorship. He came on his own. He's an orphan marble. Mm -hmm. uh, took up Clown as a side job. He blows up balloons at little marble parties at restaurants. And then... With the coronavirus, no one wants that anymore. Wow, well, that's a heartwarming story. Here we go. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. This is race two. <laughs> Spicy dice. Ole. Oh, my goodness. No, this could be bad. This could be bad. I'm not. And here we are. Oh. oh! Well, unfortunately, that is a re-race because only one marble finished. <laughs> I think that's going to happen a lot, Tom. I don't think it will. <laughs> also, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that race, folks, is just just practice. All right. Here we go. Some people are angry to probably that, that one marble that did finish, but mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. You, normally, we don't see those dice roll down that fast. No. That's, uh, that one was extra spicy. Oh. Clown, you cannot escape. Oh, that's cupcake. Sorry, not clown. All right. Let's try that again. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. Let's stop that race <laughs> before it even starts because there was some clear... Referee interference. This is there. a complete catastrophe. The crowd is very, very unsettled. Yeah, um, <laughs> you would think that the judge would have uh, practiced this, right? Well, here's here's the secret. Might, Tom. The, the judge did practice, <laughs> so I'm not sure what's going on here. All right, let's try it like there this. There we go. I don't know what's there. <laughs> go. There oh, we go. Oh my. Okay, good. Now we're back to the way things should be. Although, I don't know, pink spicy is getting a little bit spicy here. Is it going to make it? No, it's not. All right. All right. This is still race two, correct? Even though we've done about 15 <laughs> times. All right. Number one is, um, is that Nova? Yes, Nova. All right. Number two, Gray Fox. Mm. Number three, Clown. Number four, Cat's Eye. Number five, Burp of Atlantis. Mm -hmm. And number six, Cupcake. All right. That was that was quite a race, Tom. That it took was us, a that race, was a, a journey. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. I'm rolling these dice because that's how you do it. Race here, three. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Well, that worked out well. Look at all that. And definitely no interference going on there. This is all completely on the up and up. Oh. Oh. Unfortunately, right, so Clown one. lost the point there. Is that Clown? That's not Clown, is it? No, it's not Clown. Sorry. That's Drink Your Ovaltine. Ovaltine loses a point. Okay. So first place is mint chocolate chip. That's what I say. First place in my Second heart. place, flaming hot. Mm. Third place, the depths of Atlantis. Mm -hmm. Fourth place, uh, what is that one? Uh, gangrene. Fifth place, strawberry shortcake. And sixth place, Nova. Oh my. Okay. Interesting. We've had one racer that has placed in every, well, I would say placed, but, but finished with scores in all three of the first races. Woo! And that, uh, let me see, I should know that by looking at these. Oh, it's Atlantis. It is. It refuses to take your uh, name shaming. Not, this is race four. Race four is correct, Tom. Oh my goodness, he's Here getting we more go. spicy dice. He's gonna just basically throw them all down. And they are doing a fantastic job. It's interesting how this one got past the idea stage, Tom. <laughs> oh, we did not finish. 
No, see, and you were worried about math. <laughs> oh, you're right. Yes. Oh, that's a re that had nothing to do with the spicy dice, I hope. No. Um, all right. See, folks, and you watch other marble races. Mm -hmm. Do they have spicy dice? I don't believe so. Perhaps for a reason, but Tom, <laughs> you know don't what? Get those things get in the way. I believe judges should support one another <laughs> in the decisions that were made at a higher authority. <laughs> Still race four, Tom, correct? Let's not worry about the number of the race. <laughs> Ready, go. Here we are. Oh my goodness. Spicy dice coming with some real, maybe, nope, nope, not going to, but at least we are going to have a finished race. And unfortunately, we have a couple of minus ones here. Nova and uh, this beautiful green marble, which is, what, green fiesta both lose a point there. Green fiesta minus one, okay. All right, and at the bottom, first place, strawberry shortcake. Mm. Second place, cupcake. Would you like to say mm again? Mm. Third place, uh, the blue one, which is, um, that's not Ocean Wave, right? What was it? Blue Fiesta, right? No, we don't. We have a green Fiesta, but. I will look is up. Is it Eye the, of the Storm? Maybe? Eye of the Storm. Thank, no, it's not Eye of the Storm. Stardust. Stardust, yes, thank you. Fourth place, Cat's Eye. Fifth place, Flaming Hot. And sixth place, Atlantis Rosing. Wow, still in the mix. Interesting. All right, after race five, we are going to um, be giving you some subtotals here, folks, to tell you where your favorites are. I tell you, these spicy dice have really been affecting the scores, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. You never know what might happen. That's true. I'm not, I'm not wishing for this, just to be clear. Uh, someone just jumped off. Oh. That, that was flaming hot. Flaming hot with it. Now is that a minus two? No, just uh, well, it was at one point, but it's still only a minus one. Now. <laughs> okay. Minus one for flaming hot. Oh, that wasn't. No. That was uh, stardust again. Minus one for stardust. Okay. All right. So in first place, this is Eye of the Storm. First place you said was Eye of the Storm. That is correct. Why am I having trouble finding that? I wrote Storm, that's why. Okay, got it. You know what? That's why we don't take shortcuts. Number <laughs> two is mint chocolate chip. Yes. Number three, strawberry shortcake. Number four, clown. Number five, drink your Ovaltine. And number six is green fiesta. All right, let me get these numbers. All right, when Mike does that, I'm gonna we're gonna be <clears throat> testing a few things here. While he adds these scores together. All right. I have my solution. All Let me right. confer with the judges. <clears throat> All right, so this is what the judges have decided. Oh, well, I'm going to go with scores first. Does anyone have zero or negative one? We do. We have one racer with zero points, Tom. Nobody in the negative. And our zero uh, point racer is the Green Fiesta. All right. Well, you never know. You never know. Ovaltine has one point. So our top racer is Strawberry Shortcake with 19. And then we got Mint Chocolate Chip with 17. Uh, Clown coming in with, oh no, sorry, Rise of Atlantis uh, with 15, and then Clown with 13. How did Rise of Atlantis place four times and still have 15 points? Because they never got first place. Uh, ah. They got uh, second, fifth, sixth, and third. And uh, the, the leader, Strawberry Shortcake, had a first place finish and a third place finish. All righty. Well, here's what the judges decided. They decided that the lowest die on the board oh, will be added to these following races. That's fantastic. If it does hit the bottom, doubled. Okay. So you're going to give me those numbers that I just write. I down, will. Tom. There we go. Here like we go. Works. Race six. Race six. And we already lost one. Did one go off the track? No, no. it's in the stuck in the pen. Oh wow. The spicy dice really heard your... All right. Well, the number face up here would be three. So a bonus of three points. So that is 13 points for Cupcake. 13 for Cupcake. 10 for Doom of Atlantis. 10 for Doom of Atlantis. 
eight for um uh why can i not remember this thing's <laughs> name huh stardust eight for stardust six for nova six for nova uh, five for Green Fiesta. Five for Green Fiesta. And four for Eye of the Storm. Four for Eye of the Storm. We have a minus one, too, also, Tom, don't we? That's correct. And they get no bonuses. Gang Green. That is Gang Green, right? Gang Green gets minus one, and there's no bonus for that. All right. Although it would be interesting if I made the top die, then subtract. But that would be more mathy than some of us can handle. I take that personally, Tom. Oh, I meant me. Oh, okay. That's not true. No. All right, here we go. Here Race we number are. seven. Those spicy dice really kicking up the spice here. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Wow, they're, they're making a run for it, Tom. Oh, my. I believe that is a six here. Ooh. All right, first of all, Gray Fox loses a point. Gray Fox with a minus one. Eye of the Storm getting 16 points. Wow, Eye of the Storm with 16. And then... Um, Doom of Atlantis with 13. 13. Then Green Fiesta with 11. 11. Cat's Eye getting 9. Mm -hmm. Nova getting 8. And Pretty Pretty Princess getting 7. Wow. All right. I Boy. think the addition here is going to be awfully fun. This is going to be a lot of fun, Tom. I, I feel the funness in your voice. I feel like we're going to need some uh, music that we play during the time that I'm tabulating the scores, I think. <laughs> I will search for that music. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to put them on the side here to see what happens this time. Probably nothing. <laughs> Race number eight. Here we go. Oh, well, that changed things up. A, well, not really. Wow, but they actually did cause a bit of havoc they there. They did. They didn't. I think we have another six. We do have another top. six. That's fantastic. Oh, My well. Goodness. Nice try, Cupcake. I no, don't know what you're going no for there. No minus ones, though. Eye of the Storm gets another 16. My goodness, Tom. Gray Fox gets 13. Nova gets 11. Flaming Hot gets 9. Strawberry Shortcake gets 8. And Water Over Atlantis gets seven. My goodness. There's only one race so far, Tom, out of eight that Rise of Atlantis has not scored in. That's amazing. That is amazing. This is actually the second edition of this marble, which has clearly better components it really than does. the first yeah. one. All righty. Spicy dice have been uh, nothing if not um, <laughs> impressive. Well... That's what some people say. Here They've we go. Something, all right. Ready? Go. Here we go. Extra spicy. Oh, we got a log jam here. Wow, clown got a little beat up there. Oh, oh still made it oh. through. Oh no, it did not. Oh, the humanity. All right, the marbanity. All <laughs> right, so cat's eye and clown both lose a point. One minus one for cat's eye and clown. And this right. is a plus five down here. So, gangrene gets fifteen points. Uh, okay, hold on one moment. Gang Green with 15, got it. Kudzu with 12. Kudzu with 12. Gray Fox with 10. Okay. Mint Chocolate Chip with 8. Got it. Strawberry Shortcake with 7. And I, uh, Eye of the Storm with 6. All right. Oh, wow. For remembrance purposes, you wrote just the word storm. I did, and storm actually is this a, Is and, this an addition that was, time? That was nine, yeah. So give me about 20 minutes, and I'll be right back with the scores. All righty. Meanwhile, we'll be setting up the next track. Now, folks, just remember, the next four races are pretty critical because after these four races, eight marbles will be eliminated from the race, and the final races will only include marbles. Let's come in and see what the crowd is saying on the thing here. Rigged scoring system, says Taman. That is not correct. We have checked it. It is not rigged. Uh, Valker says, I think I already won this one. Zachary says, I think we can start up some conspiracy theories. I, I, I cannot agree with this. Um, for people asking about boards, um, this is the only board we are currently using for our races, although we are currently in the process of having a custom one made, but that could take months. So, so could the editing, Tom. So could the scoring? Yes. Are you actually using a calculator? I over might there? be, Tom. <laughs> My abacus is not handy, so I'm going to go with this calculator. Hidden instead. Trader says you might want to switch using a spreadsheet. All right, here we go. We've got the scores somehow. Is any uh, marble still at zero? No, we do have a marble at one, though. Oh, well, that's better than nothing. What drink, is that? Drink your Ovaltine with one. <laughs> All right, so 
uh, these heavily inflated numbers, we've got Eye of the Storm, Tom, who has stormed ahead with 53 points. My word. And then uh, next, we've got Rise of Atlantis with 45 points. Heard of them. And then below that, we've got uh, Nova with 35 and Strawberry Shortcake with 34. Woof. All righty. So there are some marbles on the cusp of being eliminated, but there, you never know are. what might happen here. One of these marbles could hit the bottom, double score, be a six, be 12. If two of them hit the bottom, I'll count them all. My goodness, Tom. I know you love me. This is called Alrighty. manufacturing intrigue. <laughs> <laughs> I learned it from CBS. <laughs> Ready and go. Here we are. So many spicy dice. They're everywhere, Tom, and nowhere at the same time. Oh, my goodness. Oh, are we going to get an end? We, oh, we got only five finished racers, Tom. This is intriguing. I You don't often see something lumber yes. that's round, but that yes. is what I would believe is the correct that term. That was here. lumbering, correct. All right, this is a four, clearly. All right, so that's, oh, my word, Eye of the Storm again. 14 more points. Wow, Eye of the Storm with 14. Cupcake coming in with 11. Cupcake with 11. Mint chocolate chip with nine. Mm -hmm. Gray Fox with seven okay and gangrene with six gangrene with six i would not mind if i the storm would lose a few races helping keep this with some sense of uh uh intrigue yeah i know that's a that's a strong lead they have but remember the final race is double points you know which we yeah, do for know, no Tom. other reason we, i learned it from we could get Martin into triple and Reiner Canizia. that's right Actually, with, if Reiner Canizia was scoring these races, it would be you would look at all your races, and your lowest score would, would be, be your thing. That's correct. All right, here we go. This is race. This is race number eleven, Tom. All right. Somehow. One, two, all right. Three, four, here we five, go. Six and seven. So many spicy dice. All right, here we go. We are going to get a final race at least this time. All right. Oh, all right. First of all, clown, clown loses a point. That's a shame. I feel like Clown has given up a little bit. Yeah. It is six again, and that's really good for Fiesta. Wow, for Green Fiesta, huh? No, is that Green Fiesta? No, I'm sorry, Cat's Eye. Let cat's me say eye. again, 16 for Cat's Eye. 16 for Cat's Eye. 13 for Strawberry Shortcake. All right. 11 for Gray Fox. Got it. Nine for Nova. Mm-hmm. Eight for Drinker Ovaltine, which has oh. multiplied a score by eight. Um, and... Seven for Red Hot. Flaming I, Hot, got it. Seven. I of the Storm heard us there and decided to make it a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. We appreciate that. Just like we appreciate these stupid spicy <laughs> dice, which are doing nothing. <laughs> race number 12. Remember, folks, only two more races after race 13. Eight marbles will be eliminated. Here we go. And they're off, those spicy dice causing their havoc. And by havoc, I mean not doing a whole heck of a lot. Oh, we did lose one, Tom. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you could have done it! You could have been a contender! You could have done it so close, Tom. It's a four on top. All right. We have a minus one in the race. That is true. Gray Fox got minus one there. Gray Fox is minus one. All right. All right. That is 16 points for Kudzu. 16 for Kudzu, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. 14. 14. 14. 14. Okay. Sorry, we're only adding four. And uh, that is 11 for Clown. 11 for Clown. That is nine for Red Hot. Nine for Flaming Hot. And yeah, M2. Uh, that is <laughs> seven for Strawberry Shortcake. All right. Six for Poop of Atlantis. Mm-hmm. And five for Pretty Pretty Princess. Haven't heard that name in a while. All right. This is the final race before. Race 13, Tom. Race 13. I don't know how much more I can do with these <laughs> spicy dice. Maybe if the angle was stronger. Tom, I think adding that type of variable into things just is asking for a disaster. You know what, though? I'm doing it. <laughs> Oh, we are tempting fate, and this is going to get ugly, folks. Strap right. in. Here we go. Who knows what can happen here? And they're off. Oh, my goodness. So much. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic, although we may get no spicy dice. Not going to. Oh, oh, no. Ah! Oh, Wait, is it a two? Come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that's four. All right. So in first place, we have, huh? 
Green Fiesta with 14 oh, points. Oh, Green Fiesta with 14. Okay. Gray Fox with 11. Mm -hmm. Flaming Hot with 9. Okay. Drink Your Ovaltine with 7. Okay. Uh, pretty Pretty Princess with 4 plus 6. And mm -hmm. I have the... Pharaoh, I have the storm came in with five. All right, we have a minus one, don't we? A minus one for cupcake. Minus one for and cupcake. And since, as much as I like cupcake, I believe that's the last I said their name in a long time. It is. So I feel pretty confident cupcake will not be making the final eight. All right, so here we go. Let me get these numbers. Mike going. is going to add these scores together. Let's go back to the comments. Is Root Beer out of here? Yes, Root Beer is there. Clown may stay in the top eight. We're about to find out. Mike is going to call out the eight uh, eliminated marbles one at a time where they'll get their final race, and then we'll go down, down to the final eight. It's very exciting, folks. By the way, if you're watching this, whether you're watching it live or afterwards, if you'd like to get a marble in these races, you can send them to us. Just email me at tom at dicetower.com and ask how you can get a marble into the race. It's There's nothing involved with it at all. Um... Although, as we get more marbles, we may have to run the uh, elimination tracks with more vengeance. Yeah. But we'll see what happens. It was nice to have a 64 slate of uh, marbles. That's probably going to change. I know there's some in the mail as we speak. Let's see here. Go Spicy Dice. Okay, so... All right, we're 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 losing the bottom eight. Is yeah, that so correct? We're going to start from the lowest score on our way up. All right, so... The lowest score we have is Stardust with 12. It's then Stardust. we've got Drink Your Ovaltine with 16. Wow, that's a pretty high score for being in second last. Whoa, Drink Your Ovaltine is mad. That is a losing your temper situation. Hang on one second. Change, change Drink Your Ovaltine score to zero, please. All right, it's at zero. I, 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 will, not, I will not allow such... Displays a temper on the track. Okay, continue. All right. Next, we've got Clown with 22. <sighs> well, I had high hopes for Clown. Oh, sorry. Uh, actually, before Clown should have been Pretty Pretty Princess with 21. All righty. That actually makes Clown feel a little bit better. All right. Ooh, this track is steep. <laughs> then we've got Gang Green with 23. Hang on. I need to switch the order of these because it's... All right. Gang Green with 23, you said? Yep. And we're getting rid of what? Uh, how many more? Three more? Uh, yes. All right. So tied with 30 are Cat's Eye and Green Fiesta. All right. I'm a little confused here because you have not yet said the name of Cupcake. And I had expected them to be an easy out. All right. So Finally. that's two, four, six. We have seven. We threw one out. The last one out is who? 31 points, Cupcake. Oh, the bitterness of that Sorry, Cupcake. Sorry, Tom. It was so close. That was one bitter Cupcake. All righty, folks. Well, that's our bottom seven. We won't mention the name of the eighth because of, well, you know that. All righty. So out they go with the dirty, dirty dish rag on their little toe. Not because they're dirty, not because they're clean. All righty. All right. And so these are. Uh, Here's our final eight. One former champion, strawberry shortcake, mint chocolate chip. It sounds like a meal. Gray Fox, who has come in before Flaming Hot and Nova, keeping the fires burning. Some Atlantis named Marble, a Kudzu brother, and I of the at the storm. You'll notice we did not tell you their scores because we want to keep things. Correct. We've got to keep the intrigue spicy, going. As it may be. <laughs> All right, and this is a regular um, point value race, correct? It's only the last race that's double. The last race is double. Let's see All if this right. works here, because this looks like it might. This, yeah, Tom, <laughs> nothing can go wrong here. I'm sure it is. The 14th race. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, my goodness. Oh, one didn't even leave the... Definitely no interference. Oh, oh my goodness, Tom. Oh, what? That's a, that's a... What do we do here? We need four. That's the rule. All right, didn't make it. Uh, those spicy dice heard you, Mike. They did. I, they, they were coming correct for once. Folks, remember, betting on these marbles is wrong. Unless you are using meeples to bet with. Correct. Should I do a poll, meeples or dice? We all know the answer. Ready? And we go for race number 14. So many spicy dice. We are going to have a race and just one race and a six top. 
Oh, my goodness. Oh, my word, Mike. I'm going to make you add these up. This is not going to go well for me. That's 7, 13, 26. All right. So <laughs> this is going to change everything, Tom. <laughs> Sorry. 36 points for Eye of the Storm. 30. Now, you're not giving me a second. 36 for Eye of the Storm. Okay, we're going to be getting into triple digits here. Yeah, okay. 26. <laughs> um, 33 points for Atlantis. 33 for Atlantis. I love this. 31 for Mint Chocolate Chip. 31 for Mint Chocolate Chip. And uh, 29 for kudzu 29 for kudzu you couldn't have sounded less confident in those numbers all right so we have <laughs> but four numbers there now if we have something like this happen again in this race where we're doubling and you get a six down there tom that's going to be exciting it's going to be something this race is double this is the final race here folks do you think we'll be using these dice next week the spicy dice i have a good answer for you <laughs> <laughs> are you ready get set here Spice. we go! Spicy, spicy, oh, so spicy. Here we are. We may not get a race to... Oh, we did. Oh, what is oh, that? Oh, my, my goodness. Oh, my word. It's so Look, exciting. This is ridiculous, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, six plus three, nine are the only two that made it. So, that's 18. So, 28 Remember, times two, 56 points for mint chocolate chip. <laughs> 56 for mint chocolate chip. Okay. That's how that works. <laughs> 50 points for Kudzu, brother. 50 for Kudzu. <laughs> 41 for Nova. 41 for Nova. <laughs> Sorry. This should not be as funny as it is. Um, Still feeling good about your choices, Tom? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Carry the one. <laughs> He's taking his shoes off, folks. Okay, I'm, I'm, I might I might have got those numbers wrong. Let's take these other marbles off. Uh, can you put minus one for Flaming Hot? Sure, that's easy enough to do, Tom. All right, let's try this again. So we have 18 plus 10, 28. Yeah, so 56 was right. Mm -hmm. Okay. You had 50 and for 18 Kutsu. plus 7, 25 is 50. Okay. 18 plus 5 is uh, 23, 4. Yeah, okay. 18 plus 3, 21 so, 42 for Eye of the Storm. Wait, wait. What happened to Nova? Because I had 41 for Nova. 18 plus 5 is 23. 46 for Nova. 46 Sorry. for Nova. And you said 42 for Eye of the Storm? Yes. Okay. 18 plus 2 is 20. So, 40 for Atlantis. 40 for Atlantis. Okay. Are those our final numbers? Those are our final numbers. All right. Well, uh, let me... Let me... Give, this is going to be interesting. Good. There will probably be some angry fans about this, mostly because um, that seemed fair. <laughs> wow. These, uh... These okay, so what we're trying to do is we're enough. trying to get high numbers in your head. Since our Kickstarter launches in only two hours and six minutes, Ooh. high numbers are better. That's what I heard. That's what I've heard, Tom. All right. Uh, okay. Wow. These numbers are staggering, Tom. Did we make the three digits? Oh, oh, we made the three <laughs> digits. Well, you know what? I'm not happy till we made four digits. Well, Next week, we're going to call it Algebra Week. <laughs> <laughs> Got quadratic equations going on over here, Tom. All right, let's see what people say. Mike needs a chocolate chip ice cream after this. Correct. All right. Believe it or not, Tom, I think I've got the final numbers. All right. Let's start with eighth place. All right, with eight, eighth place with a staggeringly low 42 points <laughs> is Flaming Hot. Oh, I would like to eat a Red Hot right now. You don't like Red Hots? Red Hots are good. All right, next. All right, in uh, seventh place is Strawberry Shortcake with 54 points. Oh, I'm going to get so much garbage from people who love <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> All right, in uh, sixth place, the sixth, right, um, is Gray Fox with 57. Ooh, all right, all right. So the good news here, folks, is we're going to have a new champion. Oh, we are. 
In fifth place, and the last of our two-digit scores is Nova <laughs> with 90 points. All right, Nova! All right, so that leaves us, folks, with Eye of the Storm, Mint Chocolate Chip, the Kudzu Brother, and something of Atlantis. All right, here we go. Next up is Kudzu Brother with 115 points. Man, like, whoa, did you see that beautiful start there? I can't see it, Tom. I'm a wash in numbers. <laughs> All right. Next up is, uh, is this sixth place? Or no, no. This would be this third place. Third Sorry. place. Yes. Third place. These numbers, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm a mess. Uh, mint chocolate chip with 121. Oh, wow, that was Mike's choice. It was my choice. We're now I... down to Rise of Atlantis and Eye of the Storm. Now, in real life, I believe the Eye of the Storm destroyed Atlantis. But then if Atlantis rose, then that would mean they, I don't understand. I, ha I don't have a good metaphor here. I don't know. It's too spicy, Tom. Here we go. Second place. Just with... tell us the scores first. Okay. The two scores are 124 for second place. Got it. First place with an even 150. So it wasn't even close. Not really close. All right. What do we got? Second place, Rise of Atlantis. Oh, I'm so sad. I wanted them to win the whole time. Couldn't you tell? I could tell. But our big winner, our spiciest of the spicy, is Eye of the Storm with 150 big points. Now, I got to say this, Mike. First yeah. of all, um, people can may write letters into the office about the rig scoring system, mm -hmm. but here's the thing: Rise, of the Eye of the Storm did consistently do well the it whole did. race. This yeah. was no only the final race made them win. No, as a matter in fact, of fact, they didn't win the final race, right? No, no, Eye of the Storm really in that second heat had scored on every, and the big thing with them is that when they did score, it was almost always in first or second position. So, right. Uh, so really... take your strawberry shortcake complaints. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well that, folks, is Shoots of Marbles, Spicy Dice Version. Mm -hmm. We'll be back next Tuesday at our normal time at 10 o'clock. Um, come back and join us live today at 11.30. We'll be doing a game show slash we're launching our Kickstarter live um, here. And then we'll be playing games later on at 2. What games are, might we be playing? Come find out. Until next time, though, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delisio, And you've been watching Shoots and Marbles.